hello everyone welcome to the channel today's video is all about ad hoc commands in ansible in this video you will learn about what are the ad hoc commands what are the benefits of commands the actual usage of commands on one of the linux box i'll show the execution of uh, commands so stick around and let's get started first is what are ad hoc commands the ansible ad hoc commands are like one time commands run on the ansible control node as you already know ansible is known for its powerful playbooks that automate complex configuration but it also offers a handy tool for quick and one time task called ad hoc commands these commands are executed directly on the ansible control node letting you to interact with your managed systems without needing a full blown playbooks think of them as quick way of automation you can run them on a single machine or target a group of servers simultaneously making them ideal for situations where you just need to do something simple and specific right now uh, let's see the example like uh, imagine you need to restart a web server on a few machines or like uh, if you want to check a specific service is running on all the database servers or need to restart a service check the uptime on a few machines uh, copy a configuration file so ansible playbooks are great for complex configurations but for these one time task there is a faster way called ad hoc commands ansible ad hoc commands are simple built in commands you can use on the fly to tackle quick automation needs without needing a full fledged playbook they let you interact with your systems directly from the ansible control node actually ad hoc commands are fantastic for testing out automation logic before building a full playbook like want to see how a specific module or argument works with your system just fire the ad hoc command and test it out this helps you refine your automation approach before investing time in a complex playbook itself the next is what is the benefit of ad hoc commands the first one is speed and ease of use actually ad hoc commands require very minimal setup and can be executed with a single command line this is ideal for one off task or situations where you need a fast response the second one is simple task made automatic automating even even simple task or the basic task saves times and reduces error ad hoc command lets you automate simple tasks like as i mentioned previously restarting services checking system info copying files installing some softwares on multiple servers at a time can be achieved using the ad hoc commands third one is parallel executions manage multiple systems efficiently ansible can run ad hoc commands on a group of servers simultaneously saving you significant time compared to manually performing those tasks on each machines testing and development using ad hoc commands as a testing ground for your automation like suppose you want to build some complex playbook but before writing a playbook you want to test modules arguments on a target system you can use that using the you can test that using the ad hoc commands before writing the actual automation logic in playbooks flexibility ad hoc commands offer a wide range of possibilities you can leverage various ansible modules to interact with your system in diverse ways making them adaptable to the various automation needs so these are the benefits of ad hoc commands and very helpful in day to day life uh, engineer or a devops engineer and also for the system administrator for infra related team or work let's go ahead with the ad hoc commands using practical on ec2 machines uh, you can see i have logged into one of the ec2 linux box i have created a one inventory file i'll show you cat hosts if you can see i have given a group name web server and mentioned as a local host another group name i have mentioned it as a database i have created another issue to machine with this private ip okay i have combined both local host and so this is the third group okay 
so this is our inventory file now let's fire uh, some ad hoc commands one by one so the first command is ping command let's use ansible all hyphen m ping if you see it did not work using the all in the command line is it is saying that it does not match anything with all okay let's give the next command as localhost replace the all with localhost now you can see it is able to use the ping module hyphen m is the module ping module it is able to ping the local host and it is giving the output ping pong okay now let's see why the all did not work see all is a all is a group name okay if you are giving all that means it it is checking the inventory host file and it is trying to execute it against all the servers but since i have not given any inventory file let's give the inventory file hyphen i host then you have to give all or whatever group name like web server database server combined anything you can give now if you fire the all command all with hyphen m module ping command it will trigger against all the servers which is mentioned inside the host inventory you can see it has triggered for the local host given the output ping pong it has given me it has pinged the another server also and now so this this command now worked okay this is the first command so next command is uptime command so next command will be like ansible local host okay since i am testing all the commands in my local box so i have mentioned local host okay last time if you remember i had given m ping right but this time instead of giving module i am going to give a a means argument means we are going to run it in the default shell uptime is the shell command okay let's fire this you can see it is giving me the output that local host change this is up from 283 days and load average this this okay so this is how it works similarly for getting the uptime for all the servers you can give hyphen i hosts all or you can give database database is my local host and give hyphen a uptime database is d capital you can see now it worked previously i had given d capital d small database it says no match found next database i have given it as a d capital so as soon as i have given that group name it worked and it has given me the output okay next command is uh, let's try out the copy command okay for that i have created one sample file sample.txt okay on the, the local box itself and command will be ansible if you want to copy inside the local host itself or let's use the inventory so that you will get the better understanding web server web server web server belongs to local host itself hyphen m module you can give copy or ansible dot built built in dot copy okay and whatever the argument goes to like source equal to you have to give the source of this file and then you have to give the destination like where you want to copy so temp i have created one demo folder and let's fire this command so command is ansible hyphen i inventory what is the group name where you want to do perform this task uh, this is a module name ansible dot built in dot copy hyphen a is for argument then source where is my source file this is my source file and where is the destination press enter you can see it has copied a file to the destination you can check same file it has copied there so this is how the copy command works another important point to note here is you don't have to give this complete ansible built in dot copy you can just give the copy module and it will work 
let's see if it works or not remove the previous copied file and from the destination okay and let's do the copy again only with copy word remove this built-in trigger it so this is how you use the copy module in ansible ad hoc command next file command so again same way ansible hyphen i host or if you don't want to use the inventory local host hyphen m module you have to use ansible dot built in dot file now you have to pass all the arguments for this file An argument like uh, what is the file name what is the directory name what is the mode who is the owner who is the group so let's do it destination is home ansible latest i am going to create a latest uh, folder mode 755 owner ansible group ansible this owner and group are the username whatever username you use for me username is ansible okay state for me i am creating a directory so let's trigger this command it has created a directory do ls hyphen lrt you can see the latest folder got created so the command is ansible localhost hyphen m module and hyphen a all the arguments for creating a directory so this is how the file command works next command is yum let's check uh, how to install a package or the software onto the box using the yum command and if it is already installed how to uninstall let's see that as example so ansible localhost i am using localhost or you can use hyphen i host and then web server web server i have defined as a localhost next is hyphen m ansible dot built in dot yum you have to pass all the arguments what is the name of the package so i want to check the tomcat what is the state present present will check whether the package is there or not if it is not there it will install it let's trigger this command so it is saying that yum tomcat is already installed okay let's uninstall this instead of state present pass argument as absent in the same module of yum now you can see the installation of the tomcat package has failed you need to be root to perform this command so there is another parameter which you have to pass into the same command line hyphen hyphen become what become will do is it will log into the web server host and it will switch to the root or sudo and it will execute so for installation of yum or for inst service stop start you need to become a root so let's fire with the become and see what it happens you can see it has uninstalled tomcat from the server this is how the ansible ad hoc command for yum so next command is service command uh, same way command will start like ansible localhost hyphen m module service hyphen a argument you have to give the name uh let's start tomcat started okay let's trigger this command and see how it works it is saying that fail to start or interactive authentication is needed as you know for starting any service you need to be root or you need to have a sudo permission so let's trigger it with hyphen hyphen become you can see now there is no error and the output is started you can see tomcat started we can fire the same command with stopped with become tag only click enter no error 
and you can see the tomcat has been stopped on the server so this is how the yum command service command the various shell command and there are many modules present in the ansible uh, you can fire those things by the by using this example you can find the more modules and the commands in the ansible official documentation i will give the link of the official documentation in the description all right folks that's all for today on using the ad hoc commands in ansible hit the subscribe button to stay notified for future videos and thanks for watching